catalogs. Catalogi. What? Ah! I'm only going a little insane, but for some reason my vision's going mental. It's just like that. Get back. More tinder. More in there. I really do like that control method. It might not be clear how intuitive it is, you just drag the mouse back and forth. It's brilliant. Very nice. Ah. So why can't I just take that candle with me? <laughs> is that something? No. Sunlight, let me out! Why can't I just leave? Because uh, I've got someone to murder. Doesn't the net. What? Okay. Doesn't the name Alexander mean anything to you? Don't you have someone to kill? Maybe. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Fuck. Yeah. You don't want to be, even if there's nothing supernatural, there's just very many reasons you don't want to be trapped behind a giant stone. <laughs> oh my. Studium. Ah! Maybe I shouldn't have broken that. I need oil. What's that creep crunching noises? Uh, is that old terms? Ah! Oh man. This is. This game is shitting me up. Why do I hear music? Am I insane? Or is there really music? I don't know. <laughs> Yes. Nice. Need light. So obviously the time period of this means there's no such thing as an electric torch. Or a flashlight as you might call it. You have to rely on these primitive methods of lighting tinder and oil. I'm trying to preserve it but I'm worried I'm gonna go crazy. It's locked. Local history. Okay fine. Some light. I've been here. I don't think so. Oh! Ah! That's what was making the noise, but look at the dust falling off it. Can't. Can't play it. Wow, look at these paintings. Very detailed. Really quite cool. 
Anyway, oh. Uh, what? This looks like it was some kind of music hall. I don't know. It's very Victorian. What it would be. The setting of this. Now that's that's medieval. It's not a Victorian picture. Look at that. The hang, hanging men in the background. Creepy. Horse's ass. <laughs> That, uh. Okay, that's creepy. Is that blood or what? Don't know. Yeah. More oil? How much have I got? Well, it looks like none. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! can fill it up like that. Well that's good. I've been wandering about in the dark when I didn't need to. Well now I'm worried I'm just gonna be overzealous with it. Just paper. What? Fuck. Oh my god it just trapped me. Oh god. Can I see through there? Fragile up and I'll break my hand. Can I pick something up and use it to break it? Like this? Yes! Let's look through here first. Maps. Prussia. Put this away unless I need it. Another note. Ah! What the hell? I just picked up a note. Why? Why? No! What's happening? 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground. Gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Ugh. Trippy. So I guess uh, I'm, exp I'm finding these notes left for myself. Uh, foolishly reminding me of all the things I hope to forget. <laughs> Have I been through there? Floor plans. Just a lot of firewood. Oh. Interesting. Ah! Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. They're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wards. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, 
And there. Let's get the servants working on it. Ugh. So, if that's Alexander, then was Alexander and Daniel working together first? To you have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Yeah, it seems like they were working together. And then now for some reason I want to kill him. I mean, he does sound evil. But, you know, you can't just kill people because they sound evil. Uh, hmm. Go from here. Huh. Let's just light one of these so I don't waste all this oil. Hmm. Looks like faint light, yeah. See that. Can I push this? Maybe one of these books. Oh look, looks like it drags backward. Maybe I can push it. What if I go this side and just... Why can't I push it? Come on! Hmm. Listen to that. Something's happening. Let's look for another white book. That. There we go. Another one. There's one. Oh, if you hear that noise, you've got to start again. This must be a combination, and I'm missing one still. Or maybe that is the noise that means I need to start again. But it's not letting me push it back, so I guess not. Puzzles. Let's try this one then. And then this one. Ah! Yes! Very nice. A key! Wow! Okay. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. Human vessels? The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brandenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up in order to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave, or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I'll feed them some wine. It will, be, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Okay. <laughs> Mysterious, indeed. Nothing else in there. Take a seat! <laughs> uh, okay, I've got the wine cellar key. Oh wait, let's see what's in here. Nothing. So we're gonna go all the way back to the wine cellar now. Oh, this is open. Somehow. I guess I do. Have I been to the wine cellar? I don't remember. Study. Hmm. Let's just try to find my way back. So this way. Yeah, this is the big hall. What the fuck? Oh my god! 